So in terms of marine conservation work, I wanted to separate this video into kind of two parts. First part is going to be if you are not a professional and kind of want to do it in terms of a volunteering. The second part of the video is more going to be focused on scuba diving conservation work. As you guys know, I'm a scuba diving instructor and uh, you know, an ocean activist and educator and just want to uh, share as much as I can with you guys so we can get more people to create positive change and uh, make a better future for tomorrow. The first part, uh, volunteering slash on land based um, ocean conservation work. Now you may be thinking, uh, how can I do ocean conservation work on land? Well, our oceans are a massive part of our planet and any type of planet conservation you do, whether it's rivers, forests, mountains, in your local area, is going to have a trickle down effect to protect our oceans too. So while oceans may be the big, cool, flashy thing to do, it is just as important to clean the rivers and um, support biodiversity within your local area. So wherever you are in the world, you can help our oceans, you can help our planet by getting involved in the local activism and in the local volunteer work. So that is kind of your first step. Have a look around for what is available in your general area. I know Patagonia has an amazing like volunteer activism finder uh, that you can use. And there are also plenty of Facebook groups where you can find various organizations, NGOs that are looking for people to volunteer. Also local news bulletin boards, check it out. There are things in your local area that you can do to help protect the oceans. If you want to get involved in more like global scale companies, for example, Sea Shepherd, which you guys know I've worked with, which are the frontline defense against whether you want to get involved on some of the Arctic missions against overfishing or in Mexico where they're trying to uh, support the Vanquita porpoise or many of the other campaigns they have gone on or here in Australia where we do Apex Harmony and try and protect the sharks. There's so much that Sea Shepherd needs you guys to do. There's so much land work, um, spreading the message, you know, even getting photos and resharing things. All these things are small parts of the bigger plan and mission and spreading um, the work of ocean conservation. So Sea Shepherd's a great one. You can join that is global. Another one is Parlay for the Oceans. They more focus on the plastic issue and the pollution issue. Not only do they organize beach cleanups, um, you can also organize your own beach cleanups or just clean up beaches or ponds or whatever, wherever you are, any time of the day. But Parlay, organize them, and then at the end of every beach cleanup, they take tally of all the trash they find, and then they make sure to sort it out into the appropriate avenues to be able to then recycle or reuse as much of the trash they find, as well as gathering the data to help us better understand where this plastic pollution issue is coming from. So those are some of the things you can do on land, with your friends, by yourself, in your local town, or then get involved in kind of the bigger organizations. We have Greenpeace who try and do things. We have PETA who are trying to protect animals. You know these names, you've seen them around. Um, they quite often also very happy to take donations, which then helps fund other things. But if you rather give your time rather than money, I know that's something I really wanted to always do, just get involved personally. Um, there's petitions you can sign. So just find out what there is in your local environment or then check out Sea Shepherd or Parlay um, or some of these bigger ones, which are global, and see what you can do to help. In terms of ocean scuba diving related volunteer work, again, a lot of this is very location based. So you're gonna have to do research to find out what's available in your local area. However, there are Facebook groups, for example, um, and various kind of online platforms where you can sign up and get um, emails if there are volunteering or internship opportunities in various conservation roles. So I will include all of those in links below and they're on my blog as well. So you can head on over there, sign up to a few, join the Ocean Pancake Facebook group, join the Marine Diaries uh, Plastic Free Facebook group, I believe they're called, as well, as well as their Marine Ocean group. And all of these places, places you can stay up to date with what is happening, people posting volunteering opportunities, and um, kind of getting to know the community because 
the more time you spend in this community, the more you realize that we kind of all know each other somehow, which is amazing. So yeah, just join these communities, whether they're in person, at home, or online. I know here um, I felt quite isolated for a while, so I joined a lot of the online ones, which provided amazing support. As you guys know, I'm friends with some amazing marine biologists who I've done a few videos. Check them out with. Check, <laughs> check out the videos. Um, so yeah, there's always things you can do in terms of that. Uh, the kind of big things that you are looking for, usually um, volunteering or marine conservation work in terms of scuba diving or free diving or kind of hands-on things. There's a lot of cleanups, so scuba diving cleanups. There's a lot of marine um, surveys and things you can do. However, you have to become a scientific diver and then have some other qualifications. I'm going to have another video all about the qualifications required um, that you need to get into marine conservation. Uh, so yeah, head on over here if you want to know what do you actually need to work in the marine conservation field. Did I mention coral restoration projects? So that's something I've worked on in uh, the Great Barrier Reef. I've also worked in that in Cambodia and in the Comoros. There are surveys which kind of um, and gather data and this is a growing field now citizen science where you can actually provide your information from your fun dives of the various biodiversity that you have seen so photos of sea creatures or photos of the coral coverage um, through a system of transects so there is eye on the reef which i believe is on the great barrier reef i think florida has some similar ones coral watch and Reef check, and there's all these amazing organizations that again you can learn more about in my blog post in more details. But there you can either train up to be a scientific diver and go out on expeditions with them, or you can participate in citizen science. So take photos of humpback whales if you see them and put them into a database. Take photos of manta rays, put them in a database. Take photos of coral reef, put them in a database. Um, it's amazing that kind of the scientific world is opening up more and allowing citizens to provide data because as you guys know, in science, data is number one and the more information we have about anything, uh, the better we understand the movements of these creatures, where they're going, why they're going. Movements are being changed by the pollution or uh, the movement of the boats, if the populations are being affected. Um, so all of these things are kind of vital to better understand our oceans, to see the impacts of climate change as well as increased boat traffic and a whole heap of stuff. So yeah, um, there's plenty of things that you can get involved in if you are interested. Uh, so yeah, my best advice is join those communities. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to ask me more questions or anything, be a channel member or Patreon. And yeah, I'll definitely get back to you guys there. I also provide behind the scenes footage, longer versions of the videos. So um, I get more into depth on certain topics, things like that. And I'm very excited for the up dated website that actually finally works because that has been a whole <gasps> headache. But yes, I'm back. I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.